Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. Jeez, I thought the professor was blowing smoke up our asses with his Angela twin story. Guess not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Uh. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. Real nice. There's got to be something.
We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! Fine! Hello? Who is this? to engage, say something to him. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, 
I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us. They are here among us. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in the little hole? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. Maybe you're freaked out because that woman looked so much like Angela. Of course, you can't see someone you recognize or 
think you recognize in a bad situation like that and not be affected. Thank you, John. I didn't know you cared. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Ugh. 